The Sustainable Development Goals are a universal call to action by 2030 to end poverty, protect the planet and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity. Decent work is a key element to achieving the SDGs and endorsed in the SDG 8 on promoting sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment and decent work for all. What is decent work? It is the aspirations of people in their working lives in conditions of freedom, equality and human dignity. It is opportunities for productive work that delivers a fair income. It is safe working conditions and social protection for families. It is better prospects for personal development and social integration. It is freedom for people to express their concerns, organise and participate in decision making. Decent work is equality of opportunity and treatment for all people. Decent work is the precondition for social justice, the core of the International Labour Organization's mandate since its foundation in 1919. Despite progress, too many people around the world still face unemployment and poor working conditions. At the same time, new forces are transforming the world of work from technological development and climate change to demographic shifts and globalization, posing new opportunities, but also a great number of challenges. One of the ways we can overcome these challenges is through cooperation, mutualism, and self-help. An increasing number of enterprises have come up with innovative solutions to improve the organization of work and production, and cooperative enterprises are key drivers in this diverse ecosystem. Cooperatives are created by and for people to serve their common economic and social needs and aspirations. While being enterprises, they are also social organisations that take into account long-term social and environmental goals for their member owners and communities, beyond caring only for the economic bottom line. They are guided by internationally recognised principles, inspired by the values of self-help, democracy, equality and solidarity. Through a cooperative, producers and workers can move out of poverty by mobilising resources, increasing productivity, securing and diversifying their incomes. People can access affordable services such as renewable energy, housing, financing, insurance, childcare and education through a cooperative. They can also make their voices heard through democratic decision making. Anyone can form or join a cooperative whether they're a producer, worker or consumer. Cooperatives can create viable employment opportunities for those most at risk of being left behind, like smallholder farmers, informal economy workers, unemployed youth, migrants and refugees, indigenous peoples and people with disabilities. The global cooperative movement has more than a billion members. An estimated 279 million people, or 10% of the world's employed population, are organised in cooperatives, creating, securing and improving their livelihoods. The role of cooperatives in promoting decent work and sustainable development is recognised in the International Labour Organization's Recommendation No. 193 on the promotion of cooperatives and in the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. More than 110 ILO member states use the recommendation to reform or initiate their cooperative laws and policies. More recently, in 2018, the 20th International Conference on Labour Statisticians adopted guidelines concerning statistics of cooperatives to produce reliable and comparable statistics on the economic and social impact of cooperatives. Although cooperatives are no panacea for solving decent work issues, they can offer a resilient, democratic and sustainable way to run businesses in all sectors of the economy. Given the right enabling environment, the potential of cooperatives to advance decent work could further be released. Governments can provide supportive policies and legal frameworks, financial instruments and educational infrastructure consistent with cooperative values and principles, as well as local and national contexts. Governments, employers and workers organisations, development organisations and civil society organisations can encourage cooperatives to participate in policy dialogues, for instance around the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. A fair, secure and inclusive future is within our reach. 
We can achieve it when we work together.